Hello guys, it's Walrus again and for now I'm gonna be talking again. But this time I will be talking about making your flourishes more difficult than they are originally were. And they originally were, sorry, my grammar skills. So, uh, what I'm talking about is making some flourishes more difficult. I don't mean you have to compose some difficult two-handed stuff with each other. Of course you can, but now, for now I mean uh, strictly one-handed flourishes. And it's more important for me as uh, personally because uh, I always do something with my left hand because my right hand is always occupied by mouse when I'm working in a computer. So, what I mean by making your one-head flourishes more difficult uh, is adding some a little bit of touch on it. And of course, it might not be original because you might have been seen it before, but at, at least uh, not everybody can do this from the first time, or they just mm, cannot can be not interested in this. For example, this is a chalier cut, and this is a chalier cut without the thumb. So this is an improvement to a chalier cut. You can do it this and be quite an original with this one, huh? And it's done very, very, very interesting way. Just you replace your index from this edge to this edge. You separate. You push. You, you tighten this up. You let it go. This straightens up. Just like so. And uh, in, when practicing, you, you will get it very, very fast, I guess. Because if you are an amateur, at least, this will do for you. Uh, and then you can actually uh, make an angel. Sorry, my angel was so, so bad. Yeah, here you go. We have an angel, and then you do this thumbless shelly cut, and then you place an angel back. Isn't that a little bit of a touch, huh? To the simple shelly cut. While doing shelly cut, you add one little move, and here you go. You already have two little flourishes. Put it together. Very nice. And of course, you can do this uh, with both hands when you're th when you feel you're skillful enough. And of course, you can do this uh, with an angel as well. And then you can separate the packets, make two angels, and then uh, cut with both hands. Isn't that awesome? So, and another a more of a mainstream difficult uh, difficulty. Uh, that uh, uh, this or that cardist has in mind is, of course, a revolution cut. So many people, many cardists, do a revolution cut this way, of course, and many magicians do. But, of course, the most mainstream thing about revolution cut is to make it more difficult by adding degrees. And by this I mean making, for example, a 300 and 60 degrees revolution cut. Let's see if I can do this from the first time. No, I can't. Let's let's try this again. Yeah, here we go. Here is a 360 revolution. And of course, when you're skillful enough, you can even try to do this with 540 degrees which is my I might say I didn't practice it but the idea is of course to involve your pinky that's it so a little, a little tips on this one you make a revolution not with your middle finger when you do 180 but with your index finger oh no sorry you do both with your index finger but here instead of grabbing everything with your uh, with your fourth finger right right over here you do this with your middle finger because you will need your fourth finger for another spin. So it it, uh, uh, it has something to do with your stretchness. It stretches uh, the gaps between the fingers. So the uh, first time, of course, everything will fall off uh, very, very confidently on the floor, on the table, whatever you're practicing over. And uh, But then with time, you can actually build a very nice speed and you can even uh, add it to your repertoire and you will not be worried about uh, a failure. 
just like so. And of course, if you're skillful enough, you can try it with both hands. But of course, first you need to learn 180 revolution on the non dominating hand. But I spoke about it a little bit in my previous video. So these are two obvious, uh, diff no, not so obvious, but still, um, things that you, that you make uh, your repertoire look um, more of a professional one. And the third one is my personal one, never mind, is improving the thumb cut by adding this thing. So actually, yeah, this is a kind of a modernized thumb cut, you see. I just cut with this packet and add this little touch right over here. So this is an improvement I made to the thumb cut. So and that's it for, for now, guys. If I would have some thoughts about it or if I learn some difficulties myself, I will immediately, immediately let you know. But for now, I leave you with this thought. Think about it. What improvements do you already have? And what improvements do you want to see make your hands making? Okay? Bye and have fun as always.